Welcome to episode 3 of African Cichlid Breeder Tours and today we're looking at diesel cichlids. This is a fairly recent profile on Instagram that I stumbled upon and after seeing some videos and photos of his tanks thought I'd ask him for some footage. He were kind enough to send it across and as hobbyists we've also been speaking for about six or seven months just basic questions here and there and I'd like to think I've helped him out a little bit especially when it comes to water clarity as his tank right now is looking crazy clear. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at everything that he's got going on, including this 125 gallon fish tank, and also take a look at the few breeding groups he's got going on, as well as a really, really cool angel fish tank and breeding group. So let's get it going. everybody doing this is diesel cichlids um cichlidscape wanted me to do this video show you guys my setup this is my 125 long i probably got 30 different species of fish in here just recently got some clown loaches try to keep up on the bottom still falling when i feed um i don't know if you can see or not but i'm running two cancer filters one's really big and then i got a small secondary filter but I take really good care of this tank water changes every week try to keep my water crystal clear um, I have uh, fake plants because obviously you guys know these things just terrorize everything there is but I've had this tank going for about five months now had it running by itself for about two months before I even did anything with it. Got it where I wanted it. Just started ordering fish. And as you guys know, you just keep ordering them. But everybody's growing good. This guy here is looking phenomenal. A couple good looking OBs in there. One of my favorites. Trout's growing up. He's getting some size to him. But overall, I got some pretty decent looking fish. This is my miscellaneous tank. You're probably thinking, why in the hell is she in there? But that was my first cichlid. I've had her for seven years. She gets along with any fish I put in there. Also have a OB breeding group project in there. There's my male. He's pretty awesome. He's about five and a half inches long. There's one of the females. There's a female. Just got two females in there with him right now. And one Mimbuna. He kind of been put in there because I didn't have anywhere else to put him. So far, not much action going on with these guys. But she's huge. She eats like a pig. Also running this tank off a cancer filter. And in the last few weeks, Diesel Cichlids on his Instagram actually just posted this photo. So the female in that tank is now holding, which I'm sure he's excited about. This is our 55 gallon angel tank. All live plants. This tank looks so good. Don't mind my birds squawking. Got like um, four females and three males in this tank. As you can see, all the plants are doing very well. Um, got a variety of different angels. Some koi angels. Those are the two newest ones. Um, got some fry and the bubbler tank on the side. This tank's also ran off a cancer filter. But that's the father of the fry and uh, um, that's the mother back there. So we're hoping, hoping they make it. Get a little, 
outside view. It's like a jungle in there. All kinds of plants. Get a little wider view. Overall happy. This tank looks beautiful. We're all just chilling. This one here's got some serious fins on him. But yep, this is the 55 Angel. All live plants. This is a 20 gallon little breeding project I got going on. I got one of my best, um, one of my best OB females in there with a, one of my best dragon blood males. As you can see, they're actually kind of fooling around right now, but he's beautiful. I mean, if I could get him to produce some fry, I really think I could sell him. But she's actually kind of mean, but they're kind of loosening up to one another now. I don't have any substrate to bomb this tank because I'm just strictly doing this tank to try to get her to hold some fry. But I'm hopefully he can get her bread, get some fry out of her, and then get some OB Dragon Bloods. It's really what I'm trying to work on. Some OB Dragon Bloods is like my main objective. So, we'll see. This is my 45 gallon planted tank. Um, it's not as extraordinary as some planted tanks, but I think it looks pretty good. I don't have a huge stock list on this fish. I mean, on this tank. Some Grammys. Some rainbows but overall I think it's a it's a really clean looking tank um, I have two hang on the back filters on this tank thinking about switching over to a uh, canister but just haven't got there yet um, but this tank looks really good I like to watch it because these these fish just love to pick around on the plants always messing around swimming in and out of stuff. I want to do more of this tank. I just haven't had time. I focused more on the 125 and the, the OB breeding groups and trying to get some fry produced. I want to thank Sicklescape for giving me the opportunity to, to do these videos. Um, I really love his page and you guys need to follow him. He's an awesome dude. He's helped me pretty much get everything started that i've ever done um if you guys want to follow me on instagram my page is diesel cichlids um you can follow me on there i post a lot of pictures a lot of videos everything i got i thank everybody that already follows me i appreciate it guys I'm trying to get my page to a thousand followers but i think i can do it appreciate it look to seeing you so there you go guys a quick tour of everything that diesel cichlids got going on i hope you enjoyed the video i know i certainly have and let's Follow him on Instagram so we can get to those 1,000 subscribers. To end this video, I'm going to leave you with a little teaser of what's occurring next week. And it's some pretty funny footage. So enjoy and we'll see you on the next one.